I'm Noah, but that doesn't matter. You're Luke Whitlock, the Campus Cop. You're a legend on Moorhead State Campus. Those days are over, Campus Cops has been over. It's not part of my life anymore. We want to rebrand the name. You'll still be with the partner, and you'll still be known as the Campus Cops. What's in it for me? You'll be known again. Many people forgot who you were, but you won't be the rook, you'll be the vet. This is Matthew, he's your new recruit. What about a director? We have that taken care of already. Hey Luke, it's been a long time. There you go, my friend. The last suit you'll ever wear. I'm in. And he doesn't suspect a thing. Good. Now come in space too. Long time no see, lovelies. Hey Luke, we quickly got a new idea for this look. You like it? He's really excited to meet you both and tell you all about his plan for campus cops. Yeah, we're excited to meet him too. Wait, Luke, you told me we we're gonna go get dinner, not another meeting for campus cops. Whoops. Sir, the campus cops are here. Ah, uh, yes, the campus cops. Wow, what an honor. Fantastic. Put her there, son. Name's Finn Lee. Nice to meet you. You two have done an incredible service on this campus, and I applaud you for that. <laughs> Please. Alright, so listen. Why do we have to have a meeting? Well, I just have one special request for you there. The Moorhead State presidential election is coming up here soon, and as you probably know, I'm running. <laughs> I had no idea. Well, now you know, son. I would like you two to be my personal bodyguards out there. Well, what's in it for us? Well, if you play your cards right, I may just have a few free meals for you two at 3rd Street. Yeah, we're in. Yeah, whatever the kid says. Fine. Swell. Well, you two go and enjoy this great Halloween night, and stay safe out there. All right. See ya, you too, you weirdo. Well, Finley definitely got me at Third Streets. At first, I was a little skeptical of this character, but with these free meals, I vote Finley. All right, so we just got out of the uh, meeting with old Finn Lee, so he calls himself. I don't know what his deal is. Running for president. He's got us on his payroll now, so I guess I gotta be nice to him, but he seems like an all right character, I guess. I tell you what, though, tonight is Halloween. It is my favorite holiday. I am so excited. I, literally every single day is Halloween for me, so it's like my favorite holiday. Whew. Can't wait to get out there and uh, hand out some candy. Okay, here's the thing. I hate, hate Halloween, and I definitely do not want to be scared. And I don't understand why little kids come dressed as demonic characters onto my front porch. So you know what I do every Halloween night? It's simple. I get as comfortable as I can, and I go sit on my couch, and I watch The Notebook. Listen, we gotta put off being a bodyguard right now. We got three girls loose from the prison. What are we gonna do? Can I just please try to enjoy my Halloween right now? We'll take care of that later. I gotta go to a costume party. Wait, really? Where you at? Can I come? Please, I won't stay long. I promise, I promise. No, no you can't come. I can't just invite anyone, vet. See ya. Not tonight, out of all the nights. Come here! I need 
Her too. Not now, bit. Hello? Listen, Matthew. The girls are here. They're on campus. You need to get here right now. We need to take care of this. Okay. I'll be there soon. See ya. Alright. Took you long enough. I just need to get dressed. Where are they? They, they're gone, okay? They, they came in, they almost killed me. We need to go back to headquarters and figure out where they're at. Let's go, come on. How's it look? I know you just walked through here. I think they're trying to play games with us. Hello? I think someone's up here. Come on, camera guy, Hello? let's figure this out. Hello? Noah? Oh, hey guys. Have you guys seen the free popcorn balls they're giving out at break? I think you're crazy. I love some free popcorn balls, though. Hey, have you guys seen the free popcorn balls that they're giving out here? Okay, now I really want these popcorn balls. Listen, you guys, there's three criminals in here somewhere. They've locked us in. I think they're trying to kill us. And I also think that the popcorn balls are fake news. Hello. Welcome to the series. Um, so I was going to run the cookout. Can I get you anything? You ignorant slut! Uh, how many times have I told you? Do not interrupt me while I'm working. Anyways. Welcome to the series of unfortunate events. Is that a book? I don't know. I can't read. In order to unlock the door, you will have to conquer and overcome three stages. Your first stage is down the hallway. Good luck, and it may be smart to stay together at all times. I think that's down here. Come on, you guys. Stay behind me. Let's go. Defeat me and you can advance up to the next floor for stage two. No, no. I am not facing another lava. This is all you, buddy. All right, bet. Yeah, I got her! Get up. Come on. Hey, I did it, though. Yeah. Now it's my turn for some fun. I knew women were crazy, but these women are lunatics. Shh, she's gonna hear you and she terrifies me. You must complete this next riddle and find the answer somewhere in this building to advance to the final stage. You might be yourself, but you're actually someone else. What are you? I'll be honest, I have no idea. I'm still confused. Are we looking for popcorn balls or not? Focus, okay? We need to figure out the rhythm. What was the rhythm again? You are what you are, but you're not what you are. I think it's a uniform. <laughs> no, you're all dumb. It's a costume. You gotta go to the costume room. I know where it's at. Come on. Stop. I've just been informed that apparently we lost the key to the costume room. Go to the audio suite. That's right here. Come on, guys. Well, well, well. Look who made it to the audio suite. In this room, there's a key that will lead you to the storage room. I hope to see you there soon, lovely. I can't believe that I'm missing the whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre marathon for this. Yeah, well, you were the only one busy before coming here. Listen, just stop all the fighting, okay? We need to find this key. We have to. Start looking. Come on.
and I never felt this way before. And I swear, this is true. And I owe it all to you. I have the time of my life. Come on, Mackenzie. The storage room's this way. Come on. We really let these two get away earlier. Well, I didn't capture them. Neither did I. Neither did I. You guys are the cops here. <clears throat> Regardless, you've made it to the final stage of the night. All you have to do is defeat us and grab the key. Um, I don't really fight, so I'm just gonna sit this one out. Fine. Alright. We got this, me and you, buddy. Oh, you, you go first. Go on. I'm down to fight a hoe. Go on! Get in the corner! Get in the corner! Get him in the corner! Come on. Guys, I got the key! I got the key! Quit fighting! Yes! No one McKenzie ran with the keys. Alright, good. Y'all have really done it this time. You guys are going away for a long time. Bet! Dude, you just stepped in my foot. Watch where you're going. Hey, I'm sorry. Keep up the mouth. I'll get you in a headlock and take them down with you. Come on. Isn't that one less of you guys? Mackenzie, what are you dressed as? I'm a campus cop, you moron. All right, all right. What about you, Noah? I'm a sad clown that just got fired from the circus. That's a, that's a little weird. Why are you naked? That's how I've always been Halloween. Well, guess what? I got popcorn balls! Yes! Hey, hey, whoa, there's enough balls around here to go around for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, jokes aside though, for real, I heard about the incident that happened tonight, and I never want that to happen again, so I'm setting in place certain precautions for new campus cops to be recruited, taking place in immediate effect. Effective immediately. Effective immediately. All right, well, let's get this party started, guys. <laughs> They got the other two, sir. Well, looks like you're not as worthy as I thought you might be. You know what? Get her out of here. Make sure she doesn't see the sunlight for a few hours. Yeah. Phase two went according to plan. Now, it's your turn. 